Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and the other day I was asked a question how to get rid of the obsession with beauty. Oh my god, how am I looking? Everybody is thinking of me. <laughs> Alright, so today we will see shortly how to deal with this obsession for beauty. How to deal with the obsession for looking beautiful and what to do if we do not end up looking that beautiful sometimes or most of the times all right so if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below all right and there you go if you like this video click the thumbs up and check out the other videos in this playlist and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you and he will also help you to deal with this beauty obsession. All right. So now, the other day somebody asked me that. Oh, I am always thinking, how am I looking? Am I looking good? Am I looking bad? Am I looking terrible? Am I looking very beautiful? What to do? Well, the first point to note here is, who told you that everybody is watching you? Should I repeat? Who in the universe told you that everybody is watching you? Nobody, right? We ourselves thought that. <laughs> See, there was once upon a time I had asked my guru that how to deal with pride. How to deal uh, the ego which comes when we achieve something and maybe when we become proud. Well then, my guru Maharaj gave me a very beautiful reply. And that suits for this problem also. Because beauty is basically what? When it takes ugly form, it turns into pride, right? Oh, I am the most beautiful person in the room. <laughs> or in the town, or in the country, or in the city, or in the continent, or in the entire universe. <laughs> I am more beautiful than Saraswati, Parvati, or Lakshmi, yes. So, it reaches to that extent sometimes. So... I had asked my guru that, how to deal with pride? So he gave me a beautiful answer. He said, don't take yourself so seriously because nobody else does. Should I repeat? Don't take yourself so much seriously because nobody else does. This means that we might be thinking that everybody in the universe is busy watching us. But let me tell you, they are not. <laughs> Do you know why? Now you will say, oh, I think they are looking to me. <laughs> But I will tell you, they are not looking towards you. Why? Because when you go to a party, what are you doing? You are busy checking how many people are checking you out, right? That's what you are doing in the party. That is why you are so much obsessed. Oh, who is looking at me? Who is not looking at me? So, if everybody, what everybody is doing? Everybody in the party is busy thinking, watching, observing, contemplating, realizing the fact how many that how many people are busy watching them. So that means nobody is watching anybody. <laughs> Everybody is simply watching how many how many other people are watching them. So there you go. <laughs> nobody is actually watching you. And one of my friend was there. He used to uh, he looked a bit handsome. I mean, uh, he looked a bit handsome, but he used to think he's very much handsome. So what he used to do is, he, when he, whenever he used to go uh, on the streets, he would dress his very ni his body very nicely. He would put perfumes, he would put all kinds of scented oils, he would dress his hair. <laughs> and then I asked him one day, hey, hello, hi, <laughs> why are you wasting so much time? in dressing I mean you dress properly that's not the problem but why are you wasting so much time and then he said that oh you don't know all the girls watch me actually when I go so that is why I'm dressing <laughs> then I said that are you sure that all the girls watch you and then he said yeah yes I know that everybody watches me when I go outside and then I said okay let's do one thing Today, I will also go out with you. I will dress normally, like a normal person, the way I am dressing now, in white. <laughs> and then, I will 
also be with you and i will be checking around how many girls are checking you out and then <laughs> in my engineering uh, i used to stay in staff quarters in srm university chennai in the year 2010 and staff quarters block was directly in front of the ladies hostel so the moment we used to come out from staff quarters all the uh, girls would be visible they would be coming in and out of the hostel so then i thought okay today i'll make a note and then this fellow he started dressing he took around 15 20 minutes to dress and comb his hair chik chak <laughs> and then he came out and then what what happens we go out yes we are walking and i am busy watching how many other girls are watching him and then i saw there are so many girls who are going here they are going there and sometimes they see him and they are like oh that's okay and i just found that there were two girls who just watched him for some bit <laughs> maybe one or two seconds that's it not that they were staring at him continuously all right so at the end i told him hey look <laughs> that's your score man it's not 20 it's not even 10 it's not even 5 it's only two so for these two girls you wasted so much of your valuable time you know in the scriptures there's this description of the great sage lomos rishi why am i talking of lomos rishi here because it is important to understand the value of time now lomos rishi what he used to do is he is a timeless sage and one day <laughs> one of his disciples came and asked him oh my dear guru maharaj i have built a hut for you so please go and uh, tell me if the hut is proper or if you want some changes here there you want it to be it to be built in another way i'll build it and then lomas rishi got very angry on this disciple he said why are you wasting time doing all these things why don't you focus on the scriptures athato brahma jigyasa why don't you do that why don't you go and ask who am i what am i doing in this world where is god how can i reach him <laughs> instead of asking these questions why you are simply wasting time making this hut time is very less don't waste it and do you know how long lomas rishi lives well the lifetime of one brahma which is who is the creator of this universe is 311 uh, trillion they say yes it's a very long calculation the kalpas and the manvantaras i will not explain that here but it is said that when one brahma dies one hair from lomas rishi's body you know see hairs <laughs> one hair will fall down into the ground yes one hair falls down when one brahma expires oh my god <laughs> that person is telling to his disciple hey don't waste time doing making huts athato brahma jigyasa let's jigya let's do jigyasa brahma jigyasa enquiry about the spiritual truth so when we understand so now lomas rishi he lives for so long he lives for eternity maybe my god when he is going to die if one hair is falling when one brahma is expired so imagine his life span how much it is nobody knows so if he is feeling that making a hut is simply a waste of time now that doesn't mean we don't make houses <laughs> because we are not at that level at his level that we can feel like that but at least after understanding the story we can realize that human life is very rare there are 84 lakh species as they say 84 lakh yoni in hindi i am saying 84 lakh 8.4 million species of life and then we have <laughs> very less you see and out of that 4 lakh species are of humans different uh, f- different kinds based on their consciousness okay that is what the scriptures say and among that how much is your life span 100 years nobody lives for 100 years in kali yuga okay suppose you live for 100 years then 
one third is spent in sleeping right eight hours <laughs> then the remaining one third is spent in going and coming from the office yes and then you have eight hours left so that means if you are a newborn baby uh, you only have one third of the time because the remaining two thirds is already gone so basically you have only 33 years right i don't know why this is going out so when you have only 33 years and within that your friends will come and say oh this girl is having an affair with this boy this boy is having an affair with this girl such a waste of time all those things will come right who won the cricket match who is winning big boss who is who is reading harry potter who is going to die in game of thrones what's going to happen in all these areas right will india and pakistan have a war will arnab goswami do and uh, go and do this new debate so all these things will come up so that means from 33 years barely maybe we have one year remaining <laughs> and this is when you are a newborn baby but maybe when you are watching this you are already in your 20s in your 30s in your 40s in your 50s in your 60s who knows so that means we have very less time remaining pralad maharaj says five years is late for spirituality because death can come at any moment the scripture say padam padam yad dipadam natesham so we have to understand that our time is very limited and when we waste it which we are already uh, wasting in so many unnecessary frivolous activities we maintain the body there's no problem we eat we go to work we get married whatever is necessary for the body we do it there's no problem but when we try to decorate this dead body unnecessarily yes 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 the scriptures say this body is actually dead because the soul the atma the jiva the consciousness is staying here because of that it's looking quite relishable sometimes but actually you have to understand that this body is not living this body is actually not existing at all i mean this is dead only because the soul is there so the body is somehow looking like it's very beautiful so we should focus on our spiritual journey and when we understand that time is very valuable then we will not waste time in all these unnecessary activities because even if we are doing after some time we we have to give up this body right we are not going to stay here for the rest of eternity and even within this life as i said nobody is watching you everybody is busy watching how many are watching them did i say it right <laughs> all right and there's so much obsession about beauty these days oh i am not looking beautiful i am not looking that great people thinks that uh, people think that everybody looks like these models they're totally fake the amount of time that they spend of course that's their profession unfortunately that they have to spend uh, doing all these unnecessary things makeup and all these things which they put they it's enormous i'm saying if you go and do some research and some study on how much time they spend on doing all these things you will it's mind boggling so we do not have to behave like them that is their profession let them do but we do not have to compare ourselves with them okay and just because they are looking like that when they do makeup it doesn't mean that if we do that makeup we will also look like them and the question is not will we look like them or not the question is do we need to look like them we don't what's going to happen there are so many beautiful girls and boys even if you don't look that great it's okay man <laughs> the world is not going to collapse and you are not going to die all right so chill pause patience <laughs> nothing is going to crumble if you don't look that great and after all how long is this life very less right so let's focus on that which will give us fulfillment in the long run let us beautify the soul rather than beautifying the body all right so that is why we should focus on the spiritual journey now somebody will say oh that means you are saying oh we should not wear clothes we should go to the forest we should do this that no i'm not saying that i'm saying whatever is required to maintain the body we should do it we should wear clothes take bath in the morning maintain sattva guna apply chandan tilak all those things we should do and we can do some dressing also especially for ladies that's allowed there's no problem in that but if you are going on wasting time for hours doing that and trying to impress somebody 
then always remember even if that person gets impressed that person is not getting impressed by you he's getting impressed by your body you are not this body your spirit soul <laughs> so instead of trying to attract people to our bodies why not become somebody who uh, inside who they are attracted to our inside yes let's become that and how do we become that the shrimad bhagavatam says basically we need to develop good qualities inside us that is the most attractive person because they say that the a happy person is the most attractive person in the room will you want to stay with the hottest or the sexiest or the most beautiful girl in this planet but she is miserable she is crying all the time creeping complaining ah how miserable right at least i would not want to stay <laughs> maybe you can enjoy with somebody for some time physically that's different but you cannot stay with that person lifelong all right so uh, it said that the happy person a happy uh, the happy person is the most attractive because his or his happiness is flowing out and everybody is getting uh, attracted to that helplessly because the soul is searching for that happiness sat chit ananda that the soul is searching full of eternity knowledge and bliss so when we understand that even if we attract others to our beauty we are not attracting them to us we are attracting them to this body and then later on we complain oh that person is not staying with us why what happened that person was so attracted so obsessed with you right no 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 that person was never obsessed with you that person was obsessed with your body does it sound like somebody <laughs> so first of all we need to set the right vibrations should i repeat we need to set the right vibrations because we attract who we are should i repeat we attract who we are so if we are obsessed with our physical appearance then we will also attract other people who are also obsessed with finding beauty in physical things otherwise if we are concerned about improving our inner self then we will also attract other people who value that whoever you are however you look they will value that which is inside you not that which is outside <laughs> all right so if we have this complaint many times i meet people and they say oh i attract the wrong type of people wrong kind of people people exploit me physically and they leave why because somewhere deep down inside that frequency may be within us right so we have to introspect ourselves first that maybe at least we are not um, operating on that frequency because we never attract what we desire we only attract who we are because they say birds of the same feather flock together you will never see a crow and a swan flying together you will never see that it's impossible okay so we have to understand the fact that time is very limited for our spiritual journey and let us beautify the soul as the shrimad bhagavatam says yasyasti bhaktir bhagavati akinchana sarvair gunais tatra samasate sura halav bhaktasya kuto mahat gunan manorathe na sati dhavato bahi yasyasti bhaktir bhagavati akinchana that one who is a follower of lord vishnu one who is devoted to lord vishnu bhagavatir akinchana sarvair gunais tatra samasate sura all the beautiful sarvair gune all the beautiful gunas tatra samasate sura sura means the suras the demigods indra varuna chandra kuvera all, all all of these are the demigods they are beautiful qualities they manifest in the body of one who is devoted to lord vishnu halava bhaktasya kuto mahad guna halava bhaktasya means one who is not a devotee of vishnu kuto mahad guna what good qualities does he have manorathe na sati dhavato bahi he is flowing in the chariot of the mind today he is going to this girl tomorrow to that to the other girl tomorrow to his ex girlfriend tomorrow maybe to a prostitute that's what his mind is telling today she is looking beautiful tomorrow that girl is looking beautiful manorathe na sati dhavato bahi bahi it's many places <laughs> today i will take wine tomorrow i'll watch this tomorrow i'll go here tomorrow i will go to england that's it and germany is out of the world cup <laughs> okay so that's it i would summarize whatever i said in essence time is very less don't waste it just 
just maintain your body and look good there's no harm in looking good you can also look beautiful there's no problem but it is okay if you do not like look like a model the world is not going to collapse and nothing is going to happen in your life because even if somebody comes and tries to interact with you and says i want you as my life partner because you are looking very beautiful very soon that person will not be able to stay with you if the person cannot connect with you internally that is why so many uh, people who look good their relationships do not work sometimes why because they if they are not conscious they can attract a wrong person based on their looks and this happens all the time people come and tell me oh that <laughs> my ex ditched me he or she went with somebody else well why why that happened they were too obsessed about you right in the beginning they said oh we will die we will i will kill anybody for you no it has it had nothing to do with you it had only to do with your body so that is the thing that we have to understand and we will never be able to look like the models who are there it's totally fake their beauty yes fake means they have original beauty which is more than people like you or me but the way they appear that is totally false then it's impossible they can't look like that there's nobody i'm telling you it's all makeup hours and hours and hours of makeup all right so remember lomas rishi when one brahma expires one hair falls down from his body all right so athato brahma jigyasa do enquiries on the absolute truth maintain your body till what is required look good and even if you don't look that great very beautiful very hot very handsome very sexy it's fine god will still accept you all right god is the only person who will never say that oh you don't look that great so i don't accept you all right so he will accept everybody however you look and that's the best part right that is all what we want whoever was watching this video or whoever is watching this channel at least all right so there you go if you want to know how to become more beautiful inside then you can approach me for a consultation maybe i can help you by seeing your chart all right and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe and if you like this video which i am very sure you would have or maybe there's something pinching which i said then but still like it <laughs> all right that is it from my side wish you good luck and i hope that you uh, look beautiful uh, great wonderful fabulous whatever you call it but do not waste waste much time doing that okay Until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you